Now, what you're going to see in this depiction today as you listen to the words, as you watch the movement, is that Jesus is calling to his church, and he's saying, let me have room in your hearts. Let me be number one. Let me be the one who changed everything. The Israelites in the Old Testament often left God. They put him on a back burner. They forgot his good deeds. They forgot that he was sovereign and powerful. And they turned away from him to be called back and to turn away again over and over again. And through the prophet Isaiah, he told of the one who would come. In Isaiah chapter 9, verse 2, he said, The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. For, a, for to us, a child is born. To us, a son is given. And the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. For the greatness of his government and peace shall reign forever. Let him reign forever in your heart again today as you prepare to receive the story come to life. In the sixth month, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and the angel went to her and said, Greetings to you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with a child and will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she who is said to be barren is in her sixth month, for nothing is impossible with God. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May it be to me as you have said. And then the angel left her. This precious gift, a holy babe inside, and I wonder what I've done. Holy Father, you have come and chosen.
Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man and did not wish to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quickly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, Son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is Jesus is the Son <laughs> excuse me, is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took Mary home as his wife. But he had no union with her until she gave birth to a son. Mary, did you know that your baby boy they walk on water. Mary, did you know that your baby boy save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? In this child that you deliver, who will soon deliver you? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would give sight to a blind man? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would calm the storm with his hand? Did you know that your baby boy has walked where angels try? And when you kissed your little baby, oh, you kissed the face of God. Oh, Mary, did you know? Oh, Mary, did you know? Did you know? Did you know? 
weeping child you carry is the great I days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph and Mary also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because Joseph belonged to the house and line of David. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born.
And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night.
an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. And suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest. King Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and make a careful search for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. And when they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold and of incense and of myrrh. And having been warned in a dream, they did not return to Herod.
seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. with God, and the Word was God. The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. We have seen His glory, the glory of the one and only, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. i 
nature seen, and heaven and nature seen, and heaven and nature seen. Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let then their song to flow, while fields and clouds, rock seals and plains, repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy. Over again, Over again. We can't hear you crying, baby. <laughs> Tim worked with all ages from age one and a half to age 75. I think we've got every age group represented in this thing. There were so many hands behind the scenes that I could not list them all or name them all. But I want to thank everyone, all the adults as well, who helped in bringing this together. We had costumers, we had set designers, we had, um, gosh, drama coaches and crowd control and everything. So, uh, I especially want to give praise and thanks to our wonderful praise band, vocalists and musicians. Uh, Donnie has led them. <laughs> and I just want to tell all my babies, my sweet darlings, <laughs> What a wonderful job y'all did. I'm so proud of you. And so, again, just give them a round of applause. God bless them. And at this time, I would like to close this in prayer. I'm going to ask uh, Reverend Mindy Acton to come up and close this, please. She was our drama coach. <laughs> well, let's rejoice in the Lord. Father, what a great morning it has been. Father, to refresh our thoughts and our attention on the saving grace that you birthed to us at a time we call Christmas. Lord God, thank you for the gift of Jesus. Thank you for the star that led the wise men there. Thank you for the angels that told the shepherds. Oh God, thank you for the innkeeper who thought of his manger. Lord, we are grateful for all the parts. We are grateful for the salvation. And Lord, as we look at the star that is also a cross, that, Father, this child was born to die for the sins of Mindy, of each one of us personally. And so as we get into the hustle and bustle of the holiday, help us to hold that precious, precious gift in our hearts which is the gift of the Christ child. Bless each family that is represented. Bless their Christmas, their time with their family, and the travel that they may be doing. Keep all safe. And we thank you for new hope. We thank you for the uh, leadership here that allows these things to come to be. We thank you most of all for that unspeakable gift, Jesus, our Savior. And it is in his matchless name we pray. And all of God's people said, Amen. Amen.
<laughs> I want to do it again. <laughs>